Welcome to Ascent, my name is Martin Fordham and today I'd like to tell you about our Reactimate Atom reactor system and support. Recently you may have seen my video on our Reactimate Datum. This is a support system and reactor vessels up to 5 litre volume. Atom goes a bit further so this is suitable for reactor vessels up to 30 litres, jacketed reactor vessels that is. Let me tell you briefly about some of the unique features of Atom. If you want to find out more, there'll be links below. The first thing to mention is Atom was designed to be used in two ways. Firstly, in a walk-in fume hood, so hence the casters, but you can remove these and put on short feet. And then the system is very suitable for use in a standard fume hood. It was designed with that in mind with a large pharmaceutical company who wanted to work with around 10 or 20 litre vessels in the standard fume hood. The problem being is the height the vessel would need to be above the be bench top was too high really then for people to safely make additions to the top. So what we came up with was this simple mechanism. Speed it up. As you will have seen, the whole vessel assembly comes up, including the overhead stirrer. So it gives you now the space to collect your material underneath into another vessel. And when in the lower position, it means that even, you know, even with these casters on, remember that's a little bit higher, you can quite easily get to the top of the vessel. Some other key features all reactor make systems the vessels themselves are made to order the reason we do that is because pretty much every one of our lovely customers wants something slightly different so if you want a vacuum jacket for low temperature work or you want to run to minus 70 degrees we can configure the vessel suitable for that purpose so something i'll cover in uh, another video is different options for sidearms. Again, it depends on your temperature range and how you want to utilize the vessels. Bottom runoff valve. Again, what we put on there will be down to your requirements of temperature range, but also whether you have a large amount of solid requiring a large diameter, for example. On the top of this reactor, we have a PTFE lid. You can have glass if you prefer. PTFE lid gives you that lower profile and not really very easy to break. But there are advantages to glass above above the PTFE. So you, as a customer, you can choose your preference. An important feature that for such a large, large scale reactor is our mounting for the overhead stirrer. It's a, a single knob adjustment which supports the weight of the overhead stirrer motor, in this case quite a heavy one, whilst you adjust its position. So it's very easy to do and it means that you don't need to have a flexible coupling or cut your stirrer shaft short. The stirrer shaft can go through the motor as they're designed to do. So it means for a very stable and powerful operation without any issues. Very easy to set up. At the rear of the unit we have two chariots and the distance between these can be changed very simply depending on the height of the reactor vessel. So very easy to swap your reaction vessel. Because of the weight of a glass reactor vessel when you get above the five litre size, especially when full of contents or with a vacuum jacket, we don't just support the reactor vessel from the top, we also support the bulk of its weight at the bottom. So again, that gives it very good stability means you can align it vertically very simply and be absolutely confident of its stability. I should also say the mechanism to adjust the height uses engineering bearings so there's no movement or slack at all so you don't get any wobble and there's no locking needed either to hold it in position. With this vessel we have a 200 milliliter flange and it allows us to fit these baffles. Now these baffles have been designed with the input of a company called Analytical Innovations. I'll put a link below and there's also some videos of how these baffles affect mixing. So we've got the stirrer motor 
running quite quickly here. But there is no vortex in the middle. The contents aren't spinning around. They are properly flowing and mixing together. Very important consideration, especially if you've got chemistry that's exothermic. Baffles are probably more important than you may realise, especially on scale up. So at the end of this PTFE sheathed cable, this goes into one of the baffles as a PT100 temperature probe. And we have a fitting on here called a Limo. This will fit very popular brands of recirking circulator, such as Huber and Ulabo. Now this allows you then to control the solution temperature precisely with that device. So PTFE coated, there's no chemical compatibility issues. These PTFE probes or baffles can be fitted into glass lids as well without any issue. So now I'm going to give you a quick musical overview. Thank you very much for watching this brief intro to Reactimate Atom. Please, if you've got any questions, want to find out more, send a message to inquiries at asint.com and we'll get back to you very quickly. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye bye.